Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and today we received a pretty huge clip from the upcoming Steven Universe episode, Can't Go Back. Now, this preview comes to us from Cartoon Network Brazil, so just like with the promo we broke down before, we have a viewer actually helping to translate the dialogue so we can get a better idea of what is going on. So thank you Gustavo for translating and bringing this to my attention. Now, mind you, he admits that there may be some mistakes, so I kind of just adjusted certain things to be more grammatically correct, so expect a bit of paraphrasing. And like before, if you think there are any issues with the translation, let me know. It is really cool and humbling to have such a diverse audience, and that's been made all the more clear lately, so thank you all. But yeah, let's get started. So we open up with Steven at home, presumably after having been on the moon with Lapis and being shown some intense homeworld and gem war related stuff. And we can see Pearl and Amethyst casually coming through the front door. Now Amethyst is saying that she can't believe Pearl has had this phone for a month and doesn't even use it. But Pearl swiftly rebuts that she uses it to see the time. Meanwhile, Steven is shaking because he obviously knows something major and holding it in is really difficult. And so if this knowledge is making him just shake uncontrollably, this has to be a major, major bond that he needs further perspective or elaboration on. Something that he could only receive from the likes of Pearl. But after hearing Pearl's response, Amethyst says, yeah, sure, and tells Pearl to come sit down. She decides that they need to change the phone's background, and so they take a selfie together. And after taking it, she says that it was a good one, and then goes on to tell Pearl where the messages are and how to text. Which is intriguing to me, because as far as I know, Amethyst doesn't have a phone, so this is something she probably picked up from Steven. I would say Greg, but he's a dad, and when he was young, smartphones weren't a thing, so there's that. Another thing that's pretty funny is that despite being exposed to technology so advanced that it's akin to magic for all of her existence, Pearl is like an old lady when it comes to a cell phone. It's kind of like putting a dial-up phone or a pager in front of a kid born past 2008. And once again, we see Steven struggling to contain himself. From there, we transition to a later point in the episode after Pearl has misplaced her phone. Steven opens his eyes to see Pearl humming while organizing her weapons. And with that he says, there's a pearl inside Pearl's pearl? And this is just crazy. I mean, actually being inside Pearl's gem is just wild and something I had hoped would be used at some point in the curing of corruption ages ago. So to see this is really cool. And the coloration inside of her gem is very interesting as well. It's multicolored and funny enough, there is a color which corresponds with each member of the Diamond Authority. Pink, yellow, blue, white, and even green. Steven then runs over to the inner Pearl who remarks, Oh, Steven, where do I put you? Surely not with the spears. Let's go with alphabetical order. S, T, and then makes a swipe gesture showing some of the things she has stored within her gem, trying to find the right place for Steven, when he interrupts her saying, wait a second, don't pack me, you sent me here to find your phone. Pearl then questions back, the telephone? Let's see. Now taking a look, we have a bunch of items on this one page. A Pearl point, a television, some sea monkeys, but did you notice that Pearl has a gun? Pearl is strapped up like Vidalia, and maybe considering the heated gun debates lately, this isn't the best thing to be shown, but hey, Pearl is nothing to mess with. And I'm loving my YouTube icon a whole lot now because Pearl is just looking like an absolute savage lately. Also, there's something called Rhea Sugar, and I'm assuming that's just like a sugar packet or something, but with the creator of the show being Rebecca Sugar, that's a pretty cute inclusion. And just thinking about it, this is where Lapis's mirror was imprisoned for over 5,000 years. Wow. But with that, Pearl swipes the page and then we transition to our next scene. Here we have Steven within what seems to be Pearl's memories of the gem war. He says, Pearl, I mean, Pearl inside of Pearl's Pearl inside of Pearl. Is this because of the phone or not? 
And so with that, we may assume that Pearl's inner organizing Pearl was unable to find the phone, which then made Steven venture deeper within, going within the Pearl of the Pearl inside of Pearl. Yeah, this is pretty much like Pearlception at this point. But it's possible that Steven is attempting to retrace Pearl's footsteps to find the phone by utilizing her memories. But some trauma or something jolted us to the gem war. And with that, Pearl says... We were the only ones left behind. Homeworld, they, they were running away. And she drops to her knees. We thought we won. There was a flash of bright light. They were, and it cuts. Now this is peculiar. Actually exploring the trauma of the gem war from Pearl's perspective sounds uh, amazing. During the fighting, I'm sure they were able to justify themselves with their cause and find solace in the belief that what they were doing was righteous and just, and they were content with that. And just when it looked like they had won, that their millennia of fighting and countless sacrifices had finally paid off, the diamonds attacked. Everything was literally taken away in a flash. And really, the sort of pain that that would induce in just about anyone is incomprehensible. And I love getting to see characters like this. For things to actually be focused on and not just left up to our own implications and or assumptions. But yes, we do know this information. So past this point, I'm expecting that Steven will probably discover something even more shocking and he will exit from Pearl's gem and confront her, which makes her cry, saying that she wishes she was able to tell him sooner. Now, is it strange to think that the seal which keeps her from talking about the diamonds isn't in effect when inside of her gem? Yes, but I'm hoping we get some explanation behind that so it doesn't look like just a cop out. But yeah, that's everything that we have here. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Are you excited for these episodes more or less from this preview? I for one am just really relieved that we're not just looking for Pearl's phone in Beach City or something. That we're actually doing it in an intriguing way, which does get me a little excited, I can't lie. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you. you